This documentary examines how the media frames our knowledge of the term, sport, as well as how gender and ethnicity are modulated through their treatment in media sports material. The large media sports audience is a very precious commodity indeed. Sport has been turned by the media into a worldwide mega-business in which the assets of screen time, print space, sports personalities, sports teams, and their audiences are all interconnected and have a significant economic worth. Television has successfully transformed big sporting events into a vital component of its organizational infrastructure and intellectual product becomes a crucial commodity, the value of which may be realized and utilized in a variety of ways. Sport has been described as an incredibly conservative domain for the representation of men and women, with essentialist notions of gender manifesting more frequently than in any other aspect of contemporary society, and sports media as an overwhelmingly male and hegemonically masculine domain that produces coverage by men, for men, and about men. Even when female athletes try to avoid sexualization in the media, they face reaction from spectators and even peers, confirming the importance of sex appeal in women's sports. According to the Harvard Law Review, female athletes in the United States have historically encountered criticism for not limiting themselves to feminine activities. The feminist movement has made great progress to enhance the position of female athletes since the early 20th century. Prior to the success of the movement, female athletes had to play in far worse facilities, with different regulations, and stricter dress codes than male competitors. Polish sprinter Ewa Klobikowska had won bronze running the women's 100 meters at the 1964 Olympics. A few years later, officials made sex testing mandatory for female athletes at the 1966 European Track and Field Championships and Klobikowska was forced to undergo inspection. She was physically examined in what was called a nude parade, where female athletes were examined by a panel of doctors who would inspect their genitals to confirm their sex. Klobikowska passed her test and qualified as a female in 1966, but the next year officials replaced physical exams with chromosomal testing, meaning she would have to be tested all over again.